All right, we'll go ahead and get started with the press conference. A reminder, please silence your cell phones, radios, basically anything that makes noise. Um, and once you get the mic to ask a question, give your name and affiliation for us. We'll start with the statement from Washington head coach Heather Tarr, then go to questions for the players, uh, then dismiss the players, then do the questions purely for uh, Coach Tarr after that. So give a statement. Well, I just have to say congrats to Stanford. Um, one on a great season, but two for winning today. Uh, it's a tough day. For, for everybody to get through knowing what's ahead. But um, I'm just super proud to be a Husky. I'm proud of these guys for the legacy that many of them are leaving our program, um, having, having left behind them. I talked to them just a little bit ago, and everybody's gone through it. But, I mean, to get to college, have a lot of momentum, get to the College World Series as a freshman, and then the pandemic hits, and transfer portal everywhere, all kinds of crazy stuff, everybody moving everywhere. Um, and for the ones in our program that stayed and really, really led our program, um, I'm just proud of them. I'm proud of them leaving the program better than when they found it, which was a really hard thing because these guys came in when we were on our third College World, World Series appearance. Um, but how we got here, you know, we, we were pretty sad in the locker room, um, more so just, you know, the seniors being – being done. Um, we have an amazing four-year team manager, Carter Pierce. He's done some awesome GAs. You know, in this, this season, the, the team, you know, adjourns, unfortunately. But um, I'm just proud to be a, be a dog, and I'm proud to be associated with these guys. But we could have easily been done in regionals, and um, these guys are truly miracle makers. And I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm proud to stand with them. Questions for players? Yeah, we'll come front row right here. Hey, um, Vinny fed the alley to Daly. Um, Silent Rain, uh, you and the rest of the fifth years had an amazing career. Uh, how special was it for you to be able to share that career at UW with them? Yeah, you know, it was everything. Um, my fellow fifth years, we pretty much grew up together. You know, we started at the World Series, and we were just saying how cool it is that we're getting to end our career at the World Series. But, you know, like Coach Tarr said, we're just trying to leave this program better than we found it. And... We stayed all our five years to do that and made sure that that was done. So I hope we did that. Uh, Ruby, um, you had a phenomenal game. You had a phenomenal uh, freshman campaign. Uh, how do you feel about the future of this program, knowing that you and the rest of the freshmen are going to be around for a while? Um, sorry, this is really hard. But um, this rookie class is... I'm just like so grateful that I get to be with these three and that we came in together and we're going to stay here for the next three together. And um, just the future is really, really bright. We got we have some amazing, amazing girls and I know we have a really good class coming in. And yeah, I'm just, sorry. I'm just really grateful um, to be a dog. Yeah. More questions for okay. uh, right here. Second row. Today, uh, you were getting ahead of hitters. I mean, it just looked a lot different today than maybe it did the first two. You just, you know, walking people. Did you feel a lot better today, or was it just a... I think um, the first day, for sure, it was just nerves. Like, I, there's nothing really to prepare you for that. It wasn't the people. It honestly was just, I think, the stage, um, just knowing what's on the line. Um, but today, I just, like, knew that in order for us to win... We, I couldn't give up, and more more than a run or none, but because um, Nigeria is like an amazing pitcher, so um, that was just my goal, and I just wanted to do it for the rest of the team. So is it harder when you go zero zero because you know one mistake could be into the game, or is it easier in that situation? Um, I like I like it. I like the pressure of knowing that the game's on the line, and one of us is gonna get it. So. I mean, I mean, you had that great regional win that got that kind of propelled you here. When you look back, how big of a deal is it to win that game and to finish here in the same situation? Yeah, you know, um, we knew that we weren't done in regionals, and it got down to the wire, but we pushed through, and here we are. What would you uh, tell the uh, players uh, who will be there next year? What would you tell them, any advice you'd give them for next year? It's good to be a dog. <laughs> uh, Silent Rain, you like you mentioned how what Tar said, like leaving a better legacy for the people uh, 
coming ahead. Mm. Um, how much did it mean to you to wear the Huskies across your chest? And like, how much will that influence you in the future to always be a dog? Uh, being a Husky has meant everything to me, you know. Um, I basically grew up here these past five years, and Coach Tar has taught me so much, not only um, how to be a great softball player, but how to be a good person and how to be a good leader. And, yeah, love being a Husky. <laughs> Any more questions for players? Okay. Thank you, Ruby and Sam Marino. Thank you. And you can... You can take your uh, name tags if y'all want to. Thank you. Questions for Coach Tarr now? Okay, second round. Coach, uh, you came back to Ruby, and obviously that was a pretty good choice. Yeah, I think just, you know, spoke maybe a little bit earlier about the infinite opportunities that something like this brings to your program. And, you know, Lindsay has – carried us through this postseason she really has and her wisdom and her experience has has been wonderful and also to Ruby's youth has been something that we've been able to grow on and we just thought it was important to start Ruby again um, not that Lindsay didn't deserve a start either but just for uh, you know she she was going to have to hold us and if we found a way to get to a space where Lindsay could come in that's what we were going to do but obviously Ruby was throwing good enough to just keep her in but just for the opportunity for us to grow and learn from this experience it's been a very valuable opportunity you see it was important to start Ruby just because do you have a chance to just to kind of feel good about being here yeah I mean just the start so you know she's probably had some some tough starts and I think you know any pitcher that you don't give a leash to sometimes they they maybe second guess themselves or think, oh, well, maybe I'm just, you know, going to keep giving up a run and I'm going to keep getting taken out. And that's not the case. It's just more like we got Lindsay in the, you know, in the bullpen. Like, why wouldn't we go to Lindsay to keep the game close? So um, just more so for her brain, knowing that she has the ability to, you know, pitch with the best of them and, you know, in the future, carry our program to the places that we all want to go. You mentioned yesterday that you expect Lindsay Lopez to come back. What about the other uh, seniors who could be next with the super seniors? Yeah, I think just uh, we, we have three that are still deciding on what they're going to do, but and that's up to them, um, us a little bit. But I just think, you know, it's taught us a lot about the super senior retention. It's a challenging experience to be out of place for five years. I mean, of course, it's wonderful when you, you know, leave and you're finished at the College World Series, but some of them have to extend their um extend their academics um, at the University of Washington. It's not easy to get into a grad school program that you love. So sometimes you're just hanging on for the, for the opportunity to play. And, you know, sometimes as, a, as an athlete that's female, sometimes that's hard to do. So I, I think we've learned a lot about how to nurture that fifth-year senior, but also to, you know, like at some point things have to turn over and there's futures and, and new people that you, you get to grow and you get to develop. So, um, of course, it's going to look a lot different next year without at least the the super seniors but as a program it's a great opportunity for us to just continue to build and continue to have those guys build husky softball for us like ruby maylins and sid stewart's lana johnson's and brooklyn carter's last question how optimistic are you for the future losing and lost some five pretty key players yeah i think um just what i told the team was the the leadership style and how they learn to lead as a group um was was fantastic and the model that they led by and how we like the the model to go they really showed the younger ones that's how it's done um you lead selflessly you lead with humility you don't bully people you you nurture people behind you um and they did a really good job of trying to find a way to keep the teammate ship greater than friendship and that's a hard thing to do for for anybody the uh, the great career that the fifth years have come to an end, but all of them uh, left a lasting legacy. What did it mean to you as a manager to be able to coach each and every one of them, and how will they impact you in your future? I think the the three that specifically graduated yesterday it was Maddie Husky, Silent Rain, and Megan Vandegrift. Um, it, it was a pretty cool thing to see them through that whole grab program. Sammy Reynolds still continues with another year, um, and she'll be on our coaching staff next year. But, 
just to see that group through, watching them come in here and Maddie Husky and Silent Rain starting and Sammy Reynolds starting in our lineup as freshmen, thinking like, you know, they were in Sydney Stewart's shoes. They were clueless sometimes, like, where am I? What am I doing? And how do I, you know, how do I hit it this, at this stage? Um, and now to see them, you know, like they're refined, they're confident, uh, it just gives you hope when you develop younger ones. Um, there's a model. So we're, we're just proud of them, excited, and excited to try to do it better than they did it next year. Speaking on that, you know, um, those freshmen had such an incredible opportunity to have so many fifth years with that experience. Um, how do you think that's really going to help the future of this program, and what are your thoughts on the future of the program? It was a pretty symbiotic relationship between the olders and those youngers, and I think, you know, the the older ones appreciated that youthful energy, um, and then the the younger ones, you know, they they looked up to those women like, you know, they were their big sisters. So it's a pretty cool thing that they get to leave behind and that we get to create with a very young group looking forward next year. Okay, I think we have one on Zoom from Eric Lopez, and that should wrap things up. Eric Lopez in the circle. Coach, when you look back at this year, what's going to come to your mind considering some of the young players like Ruby that got the experience and this magical run that you had with that great win against McNeese with that great image of the players surrounding you in celebration? What what are you going to think about when you look back at this year? Mm. Well, I, I think I'm just going to look back at uh, looking at this group as a legacy and you get to recreate it. And that's the best part about being a college softball coach is that graduation happens and it could be really sad, but I'm, I'm sad because we don't get this team anymore, but I'm more happy because of the model that this group left and the way in which we get to, um, like fill the mold the next year. Um, and I think last year's group, it was hard because we ended at regionals. So it was really hard for this, you know, this group as a unit to forecast out and really see the college world series and the whys and what fours in November and December. Um, but for that matter, we know what this looks like. We know what this feels like. And um, there was a lot of upset people. Uh, and it was upset because we think we fell short of our goal. And so now we get to go into the rest of June framing that, talking about that. And every single thing we do can be this end in mind. And so we always start with the end in mind. And this is where we ended. And that group gets to lead from this point, And we're so excited about it. Thank you, Coach Tom. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You guys have fun.